With the AFG option installed on Tektronix oscilloscopes, the scope can generate signals for circuit testing and validation, design debug, and education. For this video, I'm going to be using a 4-series BMSO, but the operation is identical on several Tektronix oscilloscopes. On the 4-series BMSO, the 50-ohm AFG output is on the rear of the instrument. The location of the AFG output varies somewhat on different Tektronix oscilloscopes. The function generator provides 13 predefined waveforms, including sine, square, pulse, ramp, DC, noise, and more. Let's see how the sine wave generator can be used to test the frequency response of a simple RC filter. The integrated AFG can deliver sine waves up to 50 MHz with an amplitude of up to 5 volts peak-to-peak -peak into high impedance, or 2.5 volts peak-to-peak -peak into 50 ohms. The waveform is already set to sine. I'll set the amplitude to 1 volt peak-to-peak -peak and start at a frequency of 100 Hz. Now I'll turn on the AFG output in continuous mode and turn on channel 2 to measure across the capacitor. I'll also add a peak-to-peak -peak voltage measurement to each channel. At 100 Hz, the two voltage measurements are both around 1 volt peak-to-peak. -peak. As I increase the frequency applied to the filter, I can see the amplitude on channel 2 begin to drop. Once I get to about 700 millivolts, I know I've reached the corner frequency of the RC network. In this case, the minus 3 dB frequency is around 5 kHz. Of course, this is just one application of the sine wave generator. Built-in pulse generation is handy for checking digital circuits. The AFG can output pulses as short as 10 nanoseconds at a repetition rate of up to 25 megahertz. The maximum amplitude is 5 volts peak-to-peak -peak into a high impedance load and 2.5 volts peak-to-peak -peak into a 50 ohm load. Let's build a pulse train using the AFG. First, to match the AFG output, I'll set the scope's input impedance to 50 ohms. This will make the pulses cleaner. Now I'll set the AFG frequency to 10 MHz and the pulse width to 60 nanoseconds. I'll match the load impedance to the 50 ohm load of the scope. This will make it easier to set the voltage levels. Then I'll set the high level to 1 volt and the low level to 0 volts. I'll turn on the AFG output in continuous mode at first. I can use auto set to establish some initial scaling. And by adjusting the horizontal scale, I can get some more cycles on the display. Now I'll switch to burst mode and set up a burst of, say, 10 cycles. Before I fire off a burst, I'll change the scope's trigger to normal mode so the scope will only trigger on the bursts. Pressing the burst button in the AFG badge will initiate a burst with each press. Being able to generate pulse trains like these can be handy for testing how digital devices respond to different clock or data signals. In addition to standard functions, the AFG can generate arbitrary waveforms up to 131,000 points long with a 250 mega sample per second sample rate. Let's use the AFG to simulate an RS-232 signal. Channel 1 is measuring a 9600 baud RS-232 signal, which I'm decoding on the scope. I want to duplicate a particular part of the bitstream on the AFG, so I position the cursors to bracket the bytes I want to duplicate. I set cursor A before the T, and I set cursor B after the X. Now I'll save the waveform to the internal storage on the scope. I can use cursor gating to save the signal between the cursors. Now I can disconnect the RS-232 signal source and connect the 50 ohm cable from the AFG output to channel 1. After selecting the arbitrary waveform type on the AFG, I can then load the file I just made and turn on the generator. Now that I have the signal loaded into the AFG, I can experiment with changing the signal amplitude and even add noise. In addition to duplicating waveforms captured on the scope, the integrated AFG can also generate arbitrary waveforms based on CSV text files. With the AFG option installed on Tektronix oscilloscopes, the scope can both generate and measure a wide range of signals, in many cases, saving you from having to use a standalone function generator.